Good day, welcome to the Quick Trade Trading videos. The objective today will be how to actually use your charting on a quick trade. Now basically the setup again, yes, use your watch list, charting, order form, open positions. Now what I want to do basically is I want to actually do a bit of settings on my uh, quick trade. So there's many ways to do it. You can do it from your uh, current viewing system. On the top here, you can have the shares name. Let's go and change it to Willys. It's Willys. Vodacom. There's Vodacom. Let's go back to Willys. I can actually have a time period that I want to go and look at it. I select five minutes. On the uh, top side, obviously, one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, four hours, one day, one week, one minute. Now, that's how you can actually zoom in and zoom out. Uh, on the specific uh, time zones. Last, that is just for the last period, day period, that's five days. You can have it one day, one month, or five days. So I can actually tell, give me a five minute chart, live chart. So every block here will be a five minute chart for the last five days. If you do not understand candles, and you want to change the setting here, right click on it on the platform and go to start and say give me a line chart so here you can say give me the last 10 days and at the bottom you can actually go and view the time zone so I can go with this plus and minus I can go zoom out or I can actually go and zoom in then the next block after that is some indicators that you can go and set up in the system. But let's do the following. I'm going to go to this F here. Do you see this F? Select on the F. And here I can actually do a better time frame setting here. Again, Willis. On the top there, where I, when I move my bar, my cursor, you will see on the top, that's the time, cursor time, and the share price. So I'm going to tell the system, please give me a 5 minute or 15 minute chart last traded price and I can see this red dot here. That red dot means that's the last traded price. I can actually go and say, you know what, I don't want to go and look at live charts now. I'm going to go look at the last day, the last day charts. So it means here's a daily chart of the system. And I can say, but you know what, this is six months. I don't want to look at six months. I want to change that period. Let's go to a five year chart. So you can use it as a live chart trading system, or you can use it for intraday, or you can use it as a live. I've got drawing tools here. There's a lot of drawing tools uh, settings here that you can actually go and use. We will discuss that later in your trading strategy uh, uh, videos. You can add visual advisors on the system, and you can actually go and add and delete some uh, current movements. So I have deleted the volume that was at the bottom here. I want the volume is back. Select it and there's the volumes there again. So there's many ways you can actually go and change the style of the graph. I'm going to go back and I'm going to put it back on a 15 minute day chart. And uh, basically if I'm happy about the settings I've done here, let's go and add some um, uh, indicators most probably. Just go and let's go and add here, sorry, let's go and add here example a live. So I can have this line, there will be a dot in the line, I can go and say, you know what, uh, let's select that high, draw it up to that high there, and there's a line. And you will see, you don't need to go and click back on the drawing tools, the dot will be there as well. So you can select that low, just close it up, and dot to there again. So what you basically see here is the movement of the shape. If you're happy, just press escape, and you will see the dot line actually disappear. So as you can see, Willis is currently testing the 75 grand level on the high there. You want to go back to your order page or your normal page, view page. Just select the exit from the full screen and you're back in there with your setting done. So it will actually update itself and save it for you. That is how you can actually start viewing your chart. 